Now, we are at the point where we then throw the meeting open to general questions and answers. And we have had a lot of questions. Um, and if you, you remember, I, I recall I did ask if Adele uh, and Claire could perhaps form them into a structured response rather than taking them one at a time, because we do have a number of duplicate ones. One, one thread is uh, that um, the, uh, is the timeline. And I think you've already covered, you've, you've covered that off. Um, I must say, I'm really frustrated that we're unable to answer questions on the temporary arrangement for the community wing. We discussed it today, but it's commercially sensitive. We can't talk about it. It's a real shame, but um, hopefully we'll, we'll be, or Claire and, and, and other officers will be able to share that with us very soon. Um, how do you want to take this, Adele, Claire? Um, yeah, well, I'm, so it's, yeah, Kazan, honey, I'm happy to just quickly go through it and answer what I can and then hand over to Claire to go through her. All right, all right I think, let's do it that way. Yeah, and we think, also, also, we have a question for Tam at the end, uh, which John uh, put in, the, in, the, in very early on, and I will put that to Tam. Thank you for your patience, John. Sorry, over to you, Adele. Fine, thank you, Councillor Handley. And yes, I fear I probably will be repeating some of what I said, um, but you know, in case people have joined later on in the forum, um, I will let Claire answer the community related and the, um, as, as you've just alluded to, Councillor Handley, the, the interim provision questions. Um, but just to kind of go back to, to the timelines overall, we do recognise it is incredibly frustrating that we can't offer you a definitive timeline. I would like nothing more than to be able to share a Gantt chart with you today and tell you exactly when we'll be starting to dig and when exactly we'll be delivering your local centre. Um, however, as I've said, these processes aren't fast. We have had COVID, we have had unprecedented socioeconomic challenges to deal with recently. Um, and there clearly is an awful lot that has to go on behind the scenes in order to be able to take a plan through the planning process and clearly much financial modelling work that needs to go on behind the scenes to ensure that we are bringing the most um, appropriate scheme to, to market based on some of the things I've said in terms of wider economic development. So uh, I can assure you that a number of officers uh, spend, you know, eight, nine hours a day on all things North Stow and really are working as as cleverly and as smartly and as agile as they can to ensure that we can bring everything to bear um, as soon as possible. Um, you have my commitment that the paper that I've talked about will be going to council in the next couple of months. So at that point, they will have a list of options available to them as to how and in which order and which sequence of events we should be bringing the um, enterprise zone to bear. And once they've agreed with that um, delivery mechanism, then we will be in a position to procure a development partner. Uh, once that tender process, as I've said, has happened, that's when um, we will see signed contracts and that's when we will be able to be very clear on the delivery timelines and deadlines. So certainly come the October forum, I expect to be able to give you maybe not a full timeline, but at least a timeline of the timeline based on the development procurement partner process um, at that forum. Uh, but yeah, I completely understand um, if I was a resident, I too would be frustrated. I can say nothing more than that. Um, and those of you who've been there for five years um, rightly should be expecting amenities and a local centre soonest, and we are working on it. Um, interim, we obviously are working with the council, the town council on the market. And to me, that's, that's very important that we can support a number of our local businesses to be able to have an iterative and repeat me mechanism for um, being able to sell, not least because they've had a very difficult 12 months in terms of um, being able to have um, out, outdoor activity, for example. Uh, so I hope that wasn't too rambling, but you know, I really do want um, everyone to understand that we, we are moving as swiftly as we can and all of the internal mechanisms are in place for us to be able to trigger the kind of pre-planning pre to planning process and in tandem, the financial modelling work that has to go hand in hand with that. Uh, I'll hand over to Claire to talk about the community. Okay. Before you do, before you do hand over, uh, I think you've covered off uh, uh, as well as you can the the timeline concerns that have been raised. There is one specific question: Where is the funding for the community orchard coming from, and is that causing the delay? I'm not sure if that's for you, Adele, or for Claire. That's that's not something I can answer. Um, Claire, are you mm -hmm. able to answer that? I would I would hand that one over to Ellen Bridges, actually, or Mihaela. All right. Well, let's let's leave that. If you want to carry, answer the other ones. We'll 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 pass that on at the end. Yeah. 
Yeah, sure. Okay, so with regards to the community wing and the specific user groups that have been mentioned in the uh, Q and A, um, the communities team at South Cams manages the community wing day to day. We're very familiar with the needs of our users, the the range of activities that's hosted there, their storage requirements, their normal slots, which puts us in a very <coughs> excuse me strong position to negotiate on behalf of all of the users as a block collectively in order to um, ascertain what um, accommodation is needed to meet not just the current needs of users, but also factoring in the growth that we anticipate over the next three years in the range and the number of community groups which will become active at Norstow. So we have taken this approach in order to um, reach the best, as in, in our view, the best available um, solution to answer the needs. Um, I, I don't think there's anything other specifically that I need to pick up on from the questions, unless you want to point anything else out specifically, uh, Councillor Handley. Okay. Um... I'm just trying to work my way through now. Um, we, there was one question, uh, again, Claire, I'm not sure there's a, that, that, that someone's making the point that it's disappointing there's not going to be a cafe. Uh, where is that, uh, where, and, and the food bank, where is that expected to go? Indeed, and, and those those are the, the specific groups and activities that I'm referring to. I haven't named them individually, but um, okay. please be aware that we are fully aware of all of the, the groups that currently use the wing, the essential services that they provide, particularly to our most vulnerable residents. And it's that service continuity that we're uh, aiming to ensure, and we're doing our best to, to secure that. Okay. Um, there is another question, I think, that's for you, Claire, uh, and that's to do with the table tennis tables planned for Pioneer Park. Are they going to be put in place soon? Um, they won't be put in place in Pioneer Park. They're going to be uh, put in uh, place in the Greenway. Um, and um, we're just waiting for some remedial drainage work to be undertaken in the spot for which they're intended. We've got a license agreement already to go with LNQ for this new location. And just as soon as we're um, um, clear that um, we won't have any uh, water logging in the area where they're due to be installed, we'll get them in the ground. Okay. okay. Thank you. Um, I'm just, I think. Um, um, there is one question, Claire, that, that, that I, I think we should cover, um, and that's to do with health provision. Um, it's a, it was a comment from, it's not in q and it was in the chat, actually. Um, oh, 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 sorry, I'm just trying to find the name of that. Elaine Atkin? Yes, I, uh, I can. Yeah. Sorry. Can you cover that one? Yes, indeed. And I think I touched on this earlier in that we are constantly in touch with, uh, um, with the uh, clinical commissioning group for Cambridgeshire and Peterborough to look at the level of provision currently available for North Stowe residents um, who are being encouraged at the moment to register with the uh, Willingham uh, practice. Um, we have received assurance from them that there is sufficient capacity within that practice to deal with the residents. However, we're also in touch with Willingham uh, Medical Practice and we have an ongoing conversation with the CCG underway. And as I mentioned previously, I'd like to, to invite the CCG themselves here to the next forum in order to, um, to, to speak more fully as only they are able to do on the health issue. Thank you, thank you Claire. Um, I'm going to move on to a slightly different subject and um, John has been waiting patiently to ask a question of Tam 
and that is when will Eagle Road be open to public? Is Tam there? Can he answer that one for us? Um, I'm afraid I just don't know that kind of information. Alan Q, um, who I realise now not on tonight's agenda, um, that's the type of information that Stephen would be able to, to give everyone an update on. I was okay. down there recently and it, it, I think it's really when the houses have completed on the frontage of, of Eagle Ray. When I was down there last, it looked like they were nearly all done. So mm. I can't imagine it's going to take very long now. Okay, Tam, um, I should, what I should have said to the, uh, our audience right at the beginning is if there are any questions we can't answer for whatever reason, that we can cover it off um, on, on the website. So that's one we'll take away, hopefully be able to answer in the coming weeks. Is that, uh, is that a fair comment? Yeah, indeed. I'll find the answer for you. Thank you, Tam. That's great. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, there was a... I think, um, let me take a question from Vasilis. What is the plan for the meetings going forward? When will they be face to face again? Um, that I think is something that you, I'm going to say at the end that, that, that there will be a, um, a survey at the end of this. Uh, and that's a, a kind of point that you can make. You'd like to see face to face meetings again. Obviously, clearly it, it makes a, uh, it, it depends a little bit on what the coronavirus does, but um, yeah, if you make the point, um, then we, you'll get a, a re response from, from officers. Okay, um, I think uh, we've covered the questions off now. Are there any more questions for anyone? Um, I think... I can probably draw the meeting to a I'm just trying to give people a bit of time to, to type in. Okay, look, let me, um, let me sum up um, because um, I think we've, we've had a good, uh, a, good, a good discussion this evening. Um, I'm told that the, the Q&A responses are gonna be available uh, on the form. If any of those that haven't been fully answered or answered, they haven't been answered at all, will be available on the forum web page uh, within two weeks and probably sooner than that. Um, I think I, uh, as you leave the forum, the there will be a post Zoom survey. Uh, please look out for that. Um, the idea is that it will in, improve the future forums. And so I'd, I'd ask you to spend oh, what I'm told is less than two minutes to complete. Um, so please do take time to do that. So I will close the meeting by thanking everyone, thanking the presenters, the panelists, um, and you, the attendees, uh, you've all given up your time. I think it's been a constructive, possibly slightly frustrating at times, um, uh, a meeting but uh, you know we've, we've done our best to answer some questions some of which you know we are going to have to give you an answer in the longer term so thank you all very much for, for attending um, and I will close the meeting now uh, please end the recording thank you <laughs>